Hi everyone, welcome back to the medical educational video by Dr. Wellness. My name is Dr. Chen Yiming. Hyperlipidemia is a very common medical term mentioned by medical professionals. To the layman, it's called high cholesterol. What exactly is it referring to? What are the signs and symptoms of hyperlipidemia? Do you know the consequences of having prolonged hyperlipidemia? And what are some of the natural methods to improve your cholesterol levels? Watch till the end to learn all about it. Hyperlipidemia is defined simply as high levels of fat and cholesterol in our blood. Our liver produces 80% of our body's cholesterol and the other 20% comes from the food we eat. Cholesterol is found in food of animal origin such as egg yolk, poultry, seafood, and whole milk dairy products. Food of plant origin contains no cholesterol. Hyperlipidemia has no signs and no symptoms. The only way to diagnose is through a blood test. It is highly recommended that anyone older than 40 should get a yearly blood test to assess their lipid levels. If you want to know more about health screening, please click on the link on the top right of your screen now. When we say that you have hyperlipidemia, your blood report will show that you have high levels of total cholesterol, LDL, also known as low density lipoprotein, and TG, also known as triglyceride. This table illustrates the classifications of various lipid levels. In general, we should try to keep the total cholesterol less than 5.2 millimoles per litre, the LDL level less than 3.4 millimoles per litre, and HDL levels above 1 millimoles per litre, and finally, keep the TG less than 2.3 millimoles per litre if you do not have any other diseases and cardiovascular risk factors. If you have other risk factors such as hypertension and diabetes, established cardiovascular diseases like heart attacks and stroke, smoking and drinking, obesity and lack of exercise, chronic kidney disease or kidney failure, inherited familiar hyperlipidemia, then we will have to bring the levels of cholesterol and TG levels even lower. So consult your family physician to find out more about your cholesterol levels and the treatment plan. It is highly individualized. This table shows some levels of LDL that we aim to target in patients in various risk groups. So then the question, what's the big deal about hyperlipidemia? 2017 data from Ministry of Health Singapore showed that 33% of our adult population in Singapore has hyperlipidemia. That's almost one in three adults, and that's very, very high. Too much cholesterol in the blood causes a buildup of fatty deposits on the inside walls of our blood vessels, known as atherosclerotic plaques. This results in blockage of blood vessels, causing blood flow through these blood vessels to reduce. When this happens in the heart coronary arteries, we get heart attacks. For more information about heart attacks, also click on the link on the top right of your screen now. When this happens to the arteries in the brain, the person will suffer a stroke. This risk increases when other risk factors such as smoking, hypertension, diabetes, obesity, and sedentary lifestyle are also present in the person. There are natural remedies to hyperlipidemia. A healthy diet is crucial to the treatment of hyperlipidemia. Choose whole grain food such as brown rice, oats, and whole grain bread and noodles. Increase fruits and vegetable intake. Oats, barley, beans, and peas are good in reducing cholesterol. Cut down seafood and animal produce like meat, skin, fat, innards, milk, and milk products. Go for lean poultry and fish like salmon, sardine, mackerel. Choose monounsaturated oil for cooking and eating such as olive, canola, and peanut oil. They are your top choices. And avoid deep fried food as much as you can. Also, please avoid trans fat such as margarine, cookies, cakes, and pastries. Reduce obesity and increase the amount of exercise and physical activity. Controlling your weight to keep your BMI less than 23 will help to lower your total and LDL cholesterol and TG levels. Weight loss strategy involves reducing food intake and increasing physical activity. As a general guide, aim for 30 minutes of physical activity a day for five days a week. It's perfectly all right to start 30 minutes for two days a week and gradually build your way up. Remember, 
don't give up. Click on the link above to access the video about the eight health benefits of exercise. Managing stress. There are evidence that suggests high level of stress can result in high levels of TG and LDL and decreasing the levels of HDL. The exact mechanism is not known yet, but it may be due to high levels of stress hormone cortisol or that stress can adversely affect the immune system, leading to inflammation. Try to manage your stress. Click on the link above for the top 10 ways to keep a healthier mind. Quit smoking and drinking. Smoking cessation has clear benefits on overall cardiovascular disease risk and improving HDL cholesterol. Cutting down on heavy drinking can also reduce your TG levels. So there you go, here's a short video about hyperlipidemia. Recognize that it's an extremely common condition in adults with little or no signs and symptoms. Manage your lifestyle well by modifying your diet and exercise. Go for regular health screenings for early detection and timely treatment to avoid serious consequences like heart attack and stroke. So please click on the subscribe and notification button if you are new to our channel. Please like and share this video with your friends and family if you find it useful. Comment below the video if you want me to talk about any other medical topics. So once again, stay safe, stay healthy. Till the next time.